Hello everyone, a lead code today. Today our question is lead code 1170. Compare strings by frequency of the smallest character. Uh, this, this problem is favored by Google. As we can see, Google has uh, interviewed maybe like 17 times in the recent six months. Uh, let's look at the question. Um, so first, uh, define a function fs over a string s and calculate the frequency of the smallest character in s. So for example, if s is dcce, then fs is 2 because the smallest character in s is c and its frequency is 2. Okay, after giving this function, uh, uh, the input for our actual function is queries and words. So, given the queries and words, so queries are list of strings, and words are also list of strings. And by given that, we want to return an integer array answer. So for each of the answer, it's like f query i smaller than fw. So basically that means for each of the query, how many how many of the word in words have larger f than the current query. And then we return the result at this. Uh, it sounds complicated, so let's look at an example first. Um, so for this example, query it contain both queries and words only contain one string. So query is CBD and this is ZAAAZ. Uh, and F of CBD is one because uh, because B, the frequency of B in this string is only one. And uh, f of z a a z is three, because a appears three times in this string, and uh, because one is smaller than three, so so there is only one here, right? Um, let's look at this example. So here queries is b b b c c, so f of those queries are like three and two. So for three, let's look at how many word in words have more frequency than three. And we can see it's this one, it's, we have four. So that's why there is only one element in the words have a higher F score than this guy. So we put one here. Similarly, we put two here, okay? Uh, after no, we know what's the question. So let's look at the solution part. Uh, because first we define a function, so we try to write. So we try to write the function first. Um, because we, we need we want to count the frequency of each of the element. So we import a counter from collections. And the F is basically first create a counter so counter is a dictionary the keys are the elements in the string and the value is the number of appearances of course and we take the minimum or we take the smallest character in the string like minimum s so in this case we got the f working after that in our problem so the first step is definitely to create a f words so f words means for each word in words we calculate its f, right? So it's like for word in words we append the the f score of the word into the result here, and after we got that, we wanna sort it. So because we wanna know how much how many words have a higher f score than the current query, right? So we need to sort it. Um, and finally, what we need to return is actually a list. And uh, each of the element is for each query, how many, um, how many 
word or have a higher uh, hi higher F score. And then for each query, we will try to get the number for each query and we call it current here. So current first is zero and uh, we use F to calculate F query like this. And for each of the for each of the word, uh, actually, for because since we already got this list of oh, f words, so we just check where is the first one, first f words larger than f query. If we find it, then all the remaining elements should be larger than f query, right? And the kernel would be like this, and and we can break. So here is like the essential part for this code. Basically, we sort the f words, and if we find the smallest one that are large, that is larger than f query, then all the remaining are larger than f query. Uh, if I if we didn't find anything, then current is still zero, so we just append zero here. Um, so finally, we after this this for loop for all the query, we return the result. Um, so because we have a sort here. So for the time complexity, it's a big O n log n. And for the, uh, let's say for the space complexity, uh, we create a f words, which is, a, let's say, big O n. And uh, another, yeah, that's it. So that's it for this algorithm. Uh, if you think this video helps, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.